This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games, and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Welcome to Starcade. We're backstage. Our players are warming up for today's big match, and warm up they should because one of these teams is going to have a chance to win their very own video arcade game. So, players, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. Here we are. Nice studio audience. Hello to you at home. Excuse me. These are the teams that are going to do it here on Starcade. Let's meet him right now. Your name is? Damon Clausen. Damon, how are you doing? Fine. Good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm 13. I go to John Murray Junior High School in Burbank, California, mm -hmm. and I love video games. All right. Who's this next to you? This is my mom. <laughs> did you decide to figure that out, huh? Your name, please? Hi, I'm Vicki Clausen, and... Um, I love being here. I want to just encourage all the parents that are watching to try out for the show. We are treated royally. I got my hair done, makeup, and I enjoy playing video games, and I'm hoping you have a good time today, too. Gosh, Vicki, I should try out for the show. I haven't had my hair done or makeup. <laughs> you are? Brenda Barton. Brenda, how you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. Tell me a little bit about you. I am from Coquille, Oregon, and I have two sons, and this one already brought me down here to be on the show. Okay, you are? I'm Arnie Hill, and I'm from Coquille, Oregon, and I'm a sophomore in high school, and I love video games. What's your favorite game, Arnie? Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah, it is a good game. Well, as you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games, and one of you teams is going to have a chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. Today, it is Mr. Do. All right. So if you teams will shake hands, please. Then head over to your podiums, and as you head over to the podiums, Kevin will tell us about the five games in store for us today. Kev? Jeff, we've got five pretty challenging games today for our contestants. First, it's Donkey Kong 3, Bug Spray and Coconuts with the Beast. Next, it's Star Wars, The Red Five and Obi. In the middle today, Motor Race USA, a low riding biker coast to coast. Juno first, Far Out and Blastin, and... Elevator Action, a game with its ups and downs. Jeff? Okay, those are today's five games. We already know that Arnie's happy to see Star Wars up there. Of course, uh, all your teams had a, both your teams had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. If you pick it in the first three games, you automatically win a prize. And Kevin, right now, will tell the people at home what the mystery game is. Kev? The mystery game is Juno First. There we go. Now, I have a question for you, Damon and Vicky, and Arnie and Brenda, first team to buzz in, gets to answer the question, answer correctly, you'll pick the first game. Here we go. In Galaga, how can the player's ship move? A, across the bottom only, or B, across the bottom and sides? Now, uh, Arnie and Brenda. Across the bottom and sides. No, it's across the bottom only in Galaga, just, just that way. So that means that Damon and Vicky get to pick the first game. What are we going to play? Donkey Kong 3. Donkey Kong 3. Okay, we will ask our Donkey Kong 1 to tell us about that, Kev. Donkey Kong is back, and he's bopping you with coconuts and stinging you with bees. He's mean, and getting you is not enough. He wants your flowers, too. Spray those bugs, and make Donkey Kong let go of the super spray so you can spray even higher. Beating the beast is going to be a real shot to the old ego, but getting beat is a stinging experience in Donkey Kong 3. All right, it's Donkey Kong 3, and uh, Damon, you're playing it? All right, Damon, I'll give you, tell you a little bit about Donkey Kong 3, and Arnie and Brenda, you might want to listen to. You spray Donkey Kong up. The first thing you want to do is get him up to the super sprayer. Once you get the super sprayer, it'll drop down, you have to go back down for it, but then you can spray further, and you can get the creepies, okay? Okay. In the second screen, you'll see some bees, uh, at least they look like bees to me. Freeze them over on the side. You can't kill them, but you can freeze them. If you freeze them in the center, you won't be able to spray Donkey Kong up. Okay. All right. All right, did you get all that, Vicky? No, but that's all right. He's playing it. Okay. <laughs> you stand over here, cheer him on. Get ready, get set, play. All right, spray him up. Great. Got the super spray. Got it. Plenty of time. 
And we're going to the next screen. About 30 seconds left. All right, you are fine. Get him, get him up there. All right, 12,800 points. What happened at the end, Dave, was you got those guys frozen in the middle, so you have to let them get out of the way. All right, head on back. Vicky, you go with them. It's a good score, 12,800 points. Here comes Arnie and Brenda. And it looks like Arnie's going to play this game. You all set, Arnie? Yeah. All right, how do you think he did? He did pretty good. I thought he did well, too. You have a score to shoot at here, and you cheer him on, Brenda, if you will. Oh, yes. Here we go, Arnie. You have 50 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. Let's see the spray. Right now, get him up there. There he goes. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, he got you. Fifteen seconds. Oh, time's moving. All right, 12,600. Looks like we have a close game here. Hang on just a second. We'll be back in a moment and find out who gets to choose the next game here on Star K. Don't go away. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game, Mr. Do. That's what they call him, and he does a lot of cherry gathering and digging and monster bashing. Why? Because he's Mr. Do, furnished by Universal USA. Now back to Starcade, here's Jeff Edwards. All right, that'd be something nice to take home. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, Damon and Vicky, I think it's pretty close. You have 12,800. Arnie and Brenda, you have 12,600. Very, very close. Now, of course, there's still one more game to be played in this round, and then the total points scored on both games will be added together, and we'll see who gets to play the name of the game board. So if you're ready, I have another question for you. Hands on buzzers. In Amadar, <laughs> how many pigs are chasing the paint roller? A, four, or B, five? Uh, Damon and Vicky. Four. Uh, I forgot. Yes, five is right. Five is right. I'm sorry. It's five, right. and that means Arnie and Brenda, you get a chance to pick the game. What are you going to pick, Arnie? Elevator action. I would have sworn you would have picked Star Wars, because that was your favorite. But elevator action it is, and Kevin will tell us about elevator action. It's elevator action. Your agent 17, codename Otto, master spy extraordinaire. Your mission? To penetrate security, locate all secret documents, and make your escape to a waiting getaway car. Make your way through the building using the elevators or the stairs, find secret documents behind red doors, avoid or immobilize the enemy agents, or if you must, Eliminate them. We must have all secret documents. It's up to you now, Agent 17, in elevator action. Well, now, I see, uh, by the way, we're, we're standing, that, uh, Brenda, you're playing it, right? I get to play. All right, now, Arnie, you, Star Wars is one of your favorite games. Why did you pick elevator action? Well, she can play that one. Uh -huh. and hopefully, I'll get to play Star Wars later. Uh, trying to get Mom out of the way to, before you get to the important stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, uh, Brenda, an uh, elevator action, and you might want to listen to uh, Vicky and Damon. Some Everybody plays it differently. I think in a short period of time that you have, you should try to get down to the 18th and 19th floor to a red door. It's 500 points if you go in the red door. Uh, shoot everybody you can on the way down there. Then once you're down there, kind of hang out down there and shoot everybody who comes your way. Shoot them, it's 100 points. Kick them, it's 150 points. If you knock out a light, then you get uh, more points for shooting and kicking. You have any idea what I'm talking about? No. Okay, good luck to you in elevator action. Try not to lose control of the elevator. You have <laughs> 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. Okay, Brenda, here you go. Yeah. 
You have another one coming up about 20 seconds. You'll have some more points here. Gotta get down the escalator. That wipes you out there, Brenda. When you get on that little square, you got to press down to get down the escalator. Head on back. Not a bad score, though, for you. 650. Come on down, Vicky and Damon. Uh, I see, Vicky, that uh, you're going to play it, huh? Oh, yes, I really don't want to, but I'm stuck with it. Is that what you decided, Damon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you cheer Vicky on. Right over here, Damon. Okay, Vicky, get ready. Get set. Play. points. Let's head on back. We had a pretty close score before. Now let's see where we are. The Arnie and Brenda beat him at elevator action. Whether it was enough to beat him for the uh, name the game. Board, I don't know. You both had a chance to play Donkey Kong 3 in elevator action. Let's see which team is going to play the name the game board. Damon and Vicky, you have 13,500. Right. Arnie and Brenda, you have 13,250. Oh, so oh, close, but it's Damon and Vicky. Come on down here. Here we go. We stand right there. With your backs towards the board, please. All right, behind you is the Name the Game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, we have a terrific prize for you. And guess who's going to tell you that? Kevin. Right. You're right. And if you get three out of four right on this, you'll win Activision's hottest new titles for a variety of home computers. River Raid, Pitfall, the Decathlon, Space Shuttle, and Enduro, a home entertainment package from Activision. And Damon and Vicky, if you get all four correct, you'll battle your favorite video games in the Bionic Chair. Portable and lightweight, the chair rocks, rotates, and allows back support and total freedom of movement. A futuristic way to play the Bionic Chair. And a beautiful jeweled pendant from the Miss USA collection at Gordon's Jewelers, with over 400 stores from coast to coast, furnished by Gordon's Jewelers. Okay, who's going to go first? You'll go first, Damon, then Vicky, then Damon, then Vicky. All right, turn around, please. Take a look at the board. Uh, Damon, in the upper left-hand corner, is that Cosmic Chasm or Crystal Castle? Crystal Castle. Right you are. That's one. Vicky, your turn. Is that Mission X or Zor? Zor. Zor is right. Good for you. In the middle, Ms. Pac-Man or Deluxe Pac-Man? Ms. Pac-Man. Right. Ms. Pac-Man it is. And finally, number four, is this Dig Dug or Mr. Do? Uh, Dig Dug. Right. You guys got all four. Congratulations to you. Well, you guessed right. You're playing really well. Stick around. We have a really close match. Only 250 points separate the teams. Let's see who's going to do it. Here's the latest video game news from the Starcade Hotline. From Greenwood, Mississippi, the first graders of Pillow Academy have turned their Starcade fever into a special project. Each year, all the first grade classes put on a big production for the school and parents. This year, they've chosen to make it a production of Starcade. They're casting the parts of yours truly, announcer Kevin McMahon, and that other guy, uh, uh, Jeff Edwards, selecting contestants, painting the sets, getting dads and computers involved for the game sound, and in addition to playing the games, they'll perform the games, donning costumes to race the maze or run the mushroom forest. And to make the show complete, they'll sing and dance the commercials. It sounds like fun, especially the research they have to do. But the first graders of Pillow Academy are not going to let that stop them. They're real star -caters. 
Time now for more of our Starcade. Here's Jeff Edwards. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we have a very close match. Only 250 points separate these teams. There's only one game left now, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we total up the scores of all the games, and the top scorer is going to get a chance to take home Mr. Dew. So this question becomes extremely important. Hands on buzzers. What color is Mario's shirt in Mario Brothers? A, blue, or B, red? Arnie and Brenda. Red. Red is right. You got that. Okay, what are you going to play? Star Wars. I figured you would. Star Wars is a game we're going to play. By the way, the mystery game was Juno first. Uh, nobody got that, so we'll put that prize away for the day. But we will play Star Wars, and Kevin will tell us about that. Darth Vader, in command of the Empire's Death Star, is approaching the Rebel planet. All is in confusion, and Princess Leia has called you forward. You must join the Rebellion to repel the attack, or all is lost. You cannot waver now. With you at the lead of Princess Leia's Rebel Force, the galaxy may survive. Use your shield. It will survive multiple hits before it leaves you. Then, trust in the presence of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And remember, the Force will be with you, always. Sure, I trusted Obi-Wan Kenobi. I keep dying. I don't trust him anymore at all. Arnie. Uh, you have 40 seconds for Star Wars. You can choose any level you want. And uh, you want to listen to this too, uh, Damon and Vicky. The lower the level, the less fighters will come at you. The higher the level, the faster the uh, more faster and more fighters will come at you, but the harder they are to shoot. So uh, you can pick whatever you want. Where do you think you're going to go, or haven't you decided yet? I'm going to go to the third level. Going to the toughest level. All right. I remind uh, both teams that you have 10 shields, and in 40 seconds, you don't have to be that concerned about saving your shields, okay? Right. All right. Get ready. Get set, play. Let's try it then, Brian. Thousand six hundred and ninety-five. Nice going, Arnie. Congratulations to you. Head on back, Brenda, and down come Damon and Vicky. Now, Damon, you're going to play this, right? Yes. Right. Even though he said he was going to go for level three, he went for the medium level. I'll just give you that information. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. All right, Vicky, you stand there. Get ready, Damon. You need some points. Get ready. Get set. Play. Good five, ten, guys. <laughs> One thousand one hundred and ninety-eight, Damon. I think you might have done it. You and Vicky go back. We'll find out in a minute. All right, we're going to check the scores now, and whoever has the highest score is going to have a chance of their own, Mister Do. Damon and Vicky, you have thirty-four thousand six hundred and ninety-eight. Arnie and Brenda have twenty-five thousand nine hundred forty-five. Damon and Vicky are the winners. Congratulations to you. Arnie and Brenda, you played uh, very nice. Well, I'll shake everybody's hand with right. one shot there. You played very nicely. Nice to have had you here on uh, Starcade, And we have some nice gifts for you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very and much. And we'll move on now to Damon and Vicky, who are our champions. Boy, you played that Star Wars. Great. <laughs> Let's you. find out what you won for being the champions of the day. You've won the Spectra Video SV328, a complete computer system for home and business, featuring 112K of memory, a disk drive, and an expansion box, Spectra Video. All right. And in just a moment, you're going to have a chance for your own video arcade game. Stay around. We'll see if you can do it.
And welcome back to Starcade. All right, Damon and Vicky, now has a chance to win your own video arcade game. Mr. Do is waiting for you. There's still two games left unplayed, Juno First and Motor Race USA. During the commercial, we told you if you picked Juno First, you'd have to score at least 4,500 points. If you picked Motor Race USA, you'd have to score at least 6,100 points. Those are the average scores of more than 20 other players who played these same games. And Damon, you decided, huh? Yeah, I'm going to pick Juno first. Juno first. That means if you score 4,500 points or more in 30 seconds, you're going to take home Mr. Do. So we'll let Kevin tell us about Juno first, and we'll go over and get ready to play the okay. game. Space, the final frontier, a battlefield of man against alien. Everything is your enemy, even time. Destroy all aliens before time runs out and a bonus is yours. But fail to do so and they change into even more powerful UFOs. Use your laser beam on the enemy space capsules and then capture escaping astronauts. It's the first day of a new era and perhaps it's last. It's up to you in Juno 1st. All right, Damon, let me tell you about Juno first. Your joystick speeds up the action that way, slows it down. You can even go backwards if you pull it back, right? Yeah. You have a warp button. If you get in trouble, press that and just get right out of trouble. If you capture an enemy astronaut, you ought to do it, okay? Okay. All right, good luck for you, to you. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. 4,500 points is what you need in 30 seconds to take home Mr. Do. Get ready. Get set. Play. <laughs> Not enough. If you'd gotten that astronaut, I think we would have had it. Well, Damon, congratulations anyway for being our champion. Thank Vicky, you. congratulations to you. You were part of the team. And we'll see you in the next Starcade. This is Jeff Edwards. Till then, I hope all your troubles get zapped. Bye bye. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production.